tea is dropping it. Always up on the block, and you know that I just wanna come and get a taste of it. Five, two, eighty, we coming up in that room with a clip, emptying like all of it, dropping them bitches all up in the ditch. Yeah, that's just what I got to do. Three a.m., I'm doing it, fool. Yeah, I got a Glock and I cock it back, and you know I hit up in the room. I'ma do, I'ma do that straight, riding slow. Five, two, eighty, that's where I go. Drop them bombs, and you know I just on car alarms, and then I go. Yeah, buddy, back in this bitch, just couldn't never that bait, love with the death, love with the shit, the shit, he stuck in that tip, drunk, born in the head, looking for what, buddy, the head, girl stepping up in this bitch, dropping hoes, hit and run, stop and go, all my ladies dropping low, another Saturday, got to go, got a show, mom, gun, animal, baby, OC, can't stop us, no, cop, jock, yo, gotta keep it, it popping, no, don't stop for hoes, but only money goes close, oh, oh, man, ladies with sexy toes, haters don't stress me so, just like the joke, pussy beats and flow, gotta keep it tight for show, 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 gotta ignite the show, Facebook and like me, ho,
represent for Colorado. I hold it down for rappers from Greeley to Denver to Alamosa. I represent what for Colorado. Do? I hold it down for rappers from Greeley to Denver to Alamosa. I represent for Colorado. I hold it down for rappers from Greeley to Denver to Alamosa. I represent for Colorado. I hold it down for rappers from Greeley to Denver to Alamosa. Big gang city to city, about the local YKE. A sick old D-Town OG. My baby mama want a Cadillac with the candy paint on green. So I'm selling CDs from city to city. They know my name in Albuquerque. They want me to smoke the sticky. But tomorrow night I got a show in Kansas City. I got a lot of beer drinking. So what to do? I'm Mikey too. On the cell phone booking flights to San Antonio. They know how I roll. Rocking a limo stretch up in Chicago. I'm boss affiliated to make that dough. I'm a powerhouse in Vato. You didn't know. Hoochies and hoes. Screaming for Ike Dog at the Las Vegas Lowrider Show. You know I'm Colorado hustling for mo. Freestyle. Battles down in Pedro CO. So, what's up? It's Pookie and Schizo and RV OG Mr. Loco. I know you're up there rocking microphones while I hold it down for Denver, Colorado rappers making paper, making dough, making dough. You're listening to the jam with Ike Dog. You're listening to the jam with Ike Dog. What's going on? Get live with ideas. I'm on a little early doing a little interview with Beasta. His new album is coming out soon, June 13th. We're very excited about it. I can't wait till it drops. drops. Beasta, what's going on, Playboy? What's up, man? How you doing? How you doing? We're doing good, man. I'm all excited, man. I'm going to get some sleep tonight. Thanks to you, Playboy. Hell nah. yeah, <laughs> show, show. Nah, we are. Uh, I, I got the jam, so make sure to tune in for the jam tonight around midnight. And um, tune tune in for Encounters. Encounters is going to be awesome with Denise Harris tonight before the jam. I think she goes on about 10 o'clock Denver time. I'm not sure. And then I go on about midnight. Um, uh, Denise, if you could write that in the chat, that would be awesome. That way I know what time you go on. But I got some questions for Beasta for his new new CD release. And we're planning a CD, CD release party plus birthday party. He's going to release his... his, his uh, his CD on his birthday. So tell me a little bit more about that, Bista. Yeah, yeah, yeah. Dream big, live bigger. Dropping June 13th. Gonna be live, man. Definitely got a lot of good songs on there. Took a lot of time to make those songs, so people are gonna love that one for sure. Yeah. Give me a, give me a couple of your favorite tracks on there that you think are gonna be hits. Yeah, I just uh, did did a song called Check. That's that's gonna hit for sure, man. That was, that's, we just did a video for that on Wednesday. Then on Sunday we're doing a video for Blue Benji Ballin'. That one's that one's gonna hit too, man. That one's gonna hit. Then doing a couple other ones as well, man. Uh, can't think of them top of my head, man. But back to the towel is nice. Back to the towel, it's a good one as well. See, I, I, what I what I gotta let all the listeners know. We're gonna have thousands of listeners over the next few weeks, and you know what I want to let you know. Beast, the, Beast, the, he actually Steve actually introduced me to you, right? Mm-hmm. That's how I met. I met him through my buddy Steve, and I turned him over to Spooky, and you know Spooky and me and Steve were all from Mile High Bombing, so he kind of came from kind of like from our umbrella. So I'm real proud of him that he went through the whole process because, but he still got some steps to go because he's gonna move up and do. You know, he's moving to you know other uh more expensive studios more expensive videos you know what i mean so i'm real proud i'm real proud of him that he made it this far because like i said a lot of artists i've sent thousands of artists to spooky and you can ask spooky and they they don't make it you know what i mean they're back at mcdonald's working you know what i'm saying and beast are really uh, you know i'm proud of you playboy because you stuck it out man and not a lot not a lot of people do man i'll be honest with you man a lot of people don't have the heart to to stick it out and get a full length done, and you did a full length. You did more than a full length. Uh. Yeah, yeah, yeah. How th- many tracks th- do you have? Thirteen songs are gonna be on it. Thirteen. Thirteen. Thirteen songs for Beast's new album, but you did like twenty or thirty, huh? Yeah, man. It took a lot of lot, lot of songs to get the right ones on there. That's for sure. Definitely worked hard on the album, and only wanted to put the ones that that were right for the album, man. Yeah, the, the the big thing about releasing an album, I learned this over the year. I got 20 releases, maybe more. I, I lost count of how many CDs I put out. But the big thing is you, you want to, you know, if, if you have a goal of 14 uh, records or uh, releases on your, on your CD, you want to do about 30 songs and then pick the best 14 out. Is that kind of what you went through? That definitely is, yeah. And, I mean, they got better. They progressed for 
the beginning, I mean, they were cool. They were they were hitting, but they definitely the, these last couple have came through real nice, and they're they're, they're going hard, man. I heard the I heard the song with uh, Playboy Paul. Man, is that going to be on your album? That song was a heater, dog. Yeah, definitely. I definitely caught that caught some bars on there, but nah, man, I'm definitely not putting that on my album. I mean, uh, T, T's going to have that on his, I think. Oh, but is it? Nah, I'm definitely going to leave it. Man, you tore feature. it up on that one, dog. That, when yeah, I heard yeah. that one, I was like, Beast of, Beast of Dude, he's, he's blowing up now, dog. Yeah, definitely c- c- catching some And then you were man. on there with Spooky and Playboy Paul. I don't know who else was on there, but I know Playboy Paul and Spooky was on there, and I was like, damn, these these guys yeah, came to the table. The cats will be flowing with us over there at T's, yeah. They, yeah, I don't they, know. They I got down, too. Yeah, I, I listened to that song about it. When I first heard it, I listened to it about 100 times, man. That's how many times I was bumping it, dude. Yeah, I think AD's on there. That's, yeah, that shit's cold. Yeah, shit that, shit, that shit was a heater, bro. That was that was a good song. So it's it's really cool. Uh, I remember I was the first one to do your first first interview, huh? Yes, what, a couple were. years ago, a year and a half ago? Yeah, like two years, three yeah. years, two and a half years, man. It's yeah. been a while. Yeah, so back in the back in the booth with me doing a doing an interview, it's cool, man. It's cool to have you. Uh, you've grown, you've matured, man, and like like we were talking earlier, like you know everybody knows how old I'm going to be soon. I don't want to say it out loud, <laughs> but <laughs> it, it, it's a different story. Like uh, the way I tell tell kids now is like it, when you're in your 20s, you rap a certain way. When you're in your 30s, you rap a certain way. And I'm going to be learning soon what it's going to be like to rap in my 40s. So I just gave my age away. <laughs> <laughs> so, you know, it's it's a change. People progress. People learn. People Definitely. mature. So it, it's pretty cool um, to see that. And and I learned something. I actually learned something from Spooky T. Um, we were at his house recording a few weeks ago. And I was doing my same old style, you know what I mean? I nothing new, nothing changed. And he gave me he gave me some information that he should have told me twenty years ago. Ask that ass now. Nah. Shout out to my homeboy Spooky T. I love you, man. But you you could have gave me that information twenty years ago, dog. So let's get back with with, with with Beasta here. We got some more we got some more we got some more plans. We're gonna get into some music. I'm gonna give you the titles of the songs real quick. That we'll, we're going to be playing for you. These are uh, pre-releases before the album comes out. So I got a song called Check. Um, Blue Benji Ballin. That's going to be the video, right? Blue yeah, Benji yeah, Ballin. Yeah, that's what we on Sunday. Yeah, yeah, yeah. And then I also got a, uh, a song called Back to the Towel. Is that like a hotel? Back or? to the hotel. Yeah, 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 yeah man. That reminds me. 